What's up guys, it's Noz back with another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing everything you need to know about painting a surfboard. Whether you have some experience painting or if you never attempted it, by the end of this video, you'll have all the information and skills you need to paint a surfboard. First things first, what do you need to get started? Obviously, you're gonna need a surfboard, then a paintbrush or pen, pencil, a razor, masking tape, sandpaper, steel wool, clear acrylic spray, and most importantly, some paint. I prefer to use pens because I have more control and it's just way easier. Surf Paint is supporting today's video and we're doing another giveaway. I'll provide all the info about how to enter later on, so make sure you watch the whole way through. And thanks to Surf Paints, you can actually buy a starter kit which has everything included. And now for the hardest part is choosing a design. This always takes me so long to come up with because you want it to be perfect. And what I like to do is just go on my phone and flick through Pinterest and stuff, try and find inspiration from other people. But just in general, you want to consider your personal style, favorite colors, and any patterns or images that inspire you. I'll pop up some of the artworks that I've done. Now that you've found a design, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process to painting your surfboard. First, you want to remove dirt and wax. To remove the wax, use a wax scraper and leave your board in the sun or use a hairdryer to melt the wax. This makes it so much easier. Then using steel wool to get the remaining wax and dirt off. This is such a game changer, it cleans it so well. So once the board is completely clean and free from dirt and wax, then you want to sand the area that you're going to be painting. This is super important because you want the paint to seep into the surfboard and make sure it lasts. Now this is the design and I'm basically just going to be sketching it. A common question I get asked all the time is, do I need any experience to paint a surfboard? And the answer is no. If you're like me and you like to draw inspiration from stuff or copy things, recreate them, then all you need is the materials and a lot of patience. And the main part is just sketching with the pencil to get as close to what you want before you actually put the paint on. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. It's quite different to the original design, but I've kind of put my own flair on it. Let's move on to the other side. And another super common question is how long does it actually take to paint a surfboard? I'd say this today will take me around one to two hours if I wasn't filming. Some could honestly take 10, 20 minutes. It just depends how complex your design is. So I finished sketching and now it's time to paint. Give it a big check. First you want to create an outline where your pencil is and then just fill it in. And I'll show you guys a secret trick called paint pooling. And basically what you're doing is trying to create a big puddle of paint on your board and then you use a brush or one of these things to spread the paint out and you get a completely different texture. Get a little wet brush. Not too wet. We're just gonna spread this out. This is what I've got done so far. It's not perfect and to be honest, it never is. And that's kind of what makes it unique, even when you're trying to copy something. You can see I've tried a few different techniques with like the pooling and stuff, but now we're gonna start on this, outline it and fill it in. And another bonus trick is you can actually take the tip out and reverse it and then you get a one mil. So if there's ever anything you need to do very fine, you can do that. While we're waiting for the board to dry, I just want to answer another question. What types of paint can you use on a surfboard? There's two main types. The first one is polyester resin, and this is the one that the professional artists like airbrush surfboards with. And then the other one that everyone else uses is acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is water-based and it's way quicker to dry and just so much easier to use. Here's the job. You can see it's very imperfect. I kind of like the homemade look. And like I said, there'll be wax on it, so it'll probably look sick. And lastly, how does the paint stay on your board? And this is by using three layers of clear acrylic spray or clear coat. It doesn't matter what paint you use. If you put three coats of this on, that paint isn't going anywhere. To do this, spray in a sweeping motion 15 to 20 centimeters from the surface, making sure all of your artwork is coated. Then wait till it's dry to recoat. 
and finish the two other layers. P.S. Make sure you don't leave it in the sun, keep it in the shade. Now for the giveaway, I've teamed up with Surf Paints again and we're giving away one pack of Surf Paint pens to three lucky winners. We'll be picking one winner from YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. All you have to do to enter on YouTube is comment the word paint and then be subscribed to Surf Paints and Surfing with Nuz. And then to enter on Instagram and TikTok, there'll be a separate post for those and you just need to follow both of us and tag two mates in the comment section. The winners will be randomly selected one week from when this video goes live and we'll post them on our stories. So stay tuned for that. Best of luck to you all. Yo! Here's the final artwork, definitely looked better with some wax on it. I'm stoked with how it came out and I learned a lot of lessons along the way. Let me know in the comments section what design you'd put on your board. And that's everything you need to know about painting a surfboard. I hope you found the video helpful and feel free to use the code NOS25 for a juicy 25% discount off all surf paint products. Subscribe for more surfing content and don't forget to enter in the giveaway. Thanks legends, keep frothing and happy painting. Yo.